Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the ZWO short adapter for the electronic filter wheel. Now if you want to check out the results that I got, I have two videos for you and I'll put those links in the description. Actually it's one video, it was just super long so I split it up into two parts, but enjoy that one to see how this, uh, how this works, how this worked for me. So this video is for people that are thinking about buying this but just want to take a closer look. There's not really much to it. You'll get the short adapter itself and also a few spacer rings. The thing is, is ZWO markets this product for a seven position filter wheel and also the five position filter wheel that they do make. The difference between the two filter wheels is not only the filter size, but the T ring adapter that works with those filter wheels. So the filter wheel T-ring for the seven position filter wheel will take the M54. And also the uh, five position filter wheel will take the M42. So those of you that don't have a ZWO filter wheel but are interested in this piece, make sure that you get the right T-ring for your application. But for those of you that have a ZWO electronic filter wheel, uh, if you have the five position, just order the five position one. And if you have the seven position filter wheel, order the one for the seven position filter wheel. These will also come in two flavors, Nikon mount and also a Canon mount. And it should be around $50. I, I think the Canon the Canon one is about $50 and I want to say the Nikon is around $60. i am not really sure why the Nikon is more expensive, but that's the prices as of right now. And I'll put those links in the description so you guys can kind of check that out. My biggest concern with buying an adapter like this is how well the lens fits on it. I've had a few adapters that adapt a lens to other things and they always kind of fit really loose and I wasn't really comfortable with using something like that because it's my lens you know I spent quite a bit of money on the lens and I don't want it falling off. The neat thing that I do like about the short adapter from ZWO is that the lens fits really really snug on there. It fits just like you think it would. It's almost like you just put it on your mirrorless camera or your DSLR. It's very secure and I never had one thought that it would just come right off of it. And how this fits on your filter wheels, you want to take your filter wheel and uh, you want to make sure that uh, it's facing the right way. And you'll know it's facing the right way if you look into your filter wheel and you see the filter and you see the front side of the filter instead of the back side of it. So that's, that's one way to tell. Or if you have a ZWO filter wheel, the writing on the back that's the part where uh, the AstroCam will be screwing into. So it's going to be the other side with no writing on it. But how it fits is you just take the short adapter and your filter wheel and you just screw it right on like this, hopefully. It just fits on like this. And then you want to take your lens and you just want to put it right on there just like you would on your DSLR. And it fits like that. Cool, huh? You have different mounting options as well. For an additional cost, of course, you can get the ZWO camera rings and these are just the rings that ZWO makes to go around your Astro camera and it comes with a little dovetail and depending on which Astro camera you have make sure you get the right size uh, for that camera so ZWO has quite a few of those and I think they're about $49 um, so this whole setup if you don't have rings that already fit around your Astro camera and the short adapter, this whole setup could cost you maybe $100. The one thing you want to keep in mind is if you are using the ZWO dew heater, those camera rings don't really work very well. 
because the dew heater, the way it's mounted is somewhat in the way. One thing I didn't like about those rings, or actually I should say the dew heater, the rings worked fine, is the dew heater is kind of an afterthought. I kind of called that out in my last video, but off the camera. So it may not be the greatest solution for that. Uh, what I ended up doing is using one of the camera rings or the telescope mounting rings from my Xenostar Z73 and its dovetail, and that worked out a lot better. The dovetail was great too because it was a little bit longer, and I was able to bolt the guide camera onto it as well. Now, you wouldn't think that I would need guiding shooting at f2.8 or f2, but the thing was, is I was shooting really deep exposures that night, and I was doing three minute subs. So, just to make sure that I got everything in focus, I used a, I, I actually used a guide, guide scope and camera for that. And I'm glad I did because that picture I took actually turned out really well. But don't try taking your Xenostar Z73 telescope rings off yet. What I had to do to make that fit because I was using my ASI 183, those rings were actually a little bit too big so I 3D printed a spacer ring for it so it would fit perfectly on there. But I'll tell you what, the dew heater ring um, didn't get in the way at all. I had enough space to put it into the telescope's rings and it mounted right up. So I think that's actually a better solution is to get, or if you have a 3D printer, I should say, to get telescope rings that are slightly bigger than the camera and then printing out a uh, spacer ring for your camera. For me, that was the better solution for this. Well, like I said, guys, this was going to be a short video. I just wanted to follow up on those two videos, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.